科技临界点，向世界介绍中国科技。Hi, I'm Lisa, and this is Threshold in China. Today, we are going to share some exciting tech innovations and announcements that happened in China last week. Chinese scientists have developed the world's first fully system integrated memristor chip, unlocking the potential to enhance artificial intelligence, self-driving cars, and enable more human-like learning in AI systems. As artificial intelligence grows more advanced, it becomes difficult for computers to process massive amounts of data efficiently, because data serves as the vital information that computers utilize to carry out their task, encompassing numbers, words, images, and sounds. This data is dispersed across various locations, both within and outside the computer, such as disk, memory, and cloud servers. Whenever the computer needs to access specific data, it must transfer it from one location to another, resulting in time consumption and energy expenditure. To address this, Chinese scientists have developed a new computer chip that mimics the energy-efficient approach of the human brain. It is estimated that a human brain uses roughly 20 watts to work. That is equivalent to the energy consumption of your computer monitor in sleep mode. So scientists looked to human brain for inspirations and came up with the idea of computing in memory. Computing in memory (CIM) refers to a computing paradigm where data processing and storage are tightly integrated within the same memory unit. As we've mentioned, in traditional computing architectures, data is stored in separate memory units like RAM or disk storage, and processed in separate computation units like CPUs. However, in CIM, the memory units themselves can perform computations, so data does not need to move between the memory and the processing unit. This brings unique advantages to computing in memory, especially when it comes to artificial intelligence. Current AI technologies require moving large amounts of data between computing and memory units, which hinders on-device learning. This challenge is amplified by the rise of large language models (LLMs). LLMs demand significant computational power, with training using over energy that's roughly equivalent to that of a thousand household in a year, and having a comparable carbon footprint to five average cars. Larger and deeper models are usually more accurate, but also more costly to train and run. So scientists from Beijing Tsinghua University turned to this idea of computing in memory with the innovative design of memory resistor. A memristor is a type of electrical current that can remember how much current has passed through it. It can change its resistance, which is how much it resists the flow of the current, depending on the previous current. This means that a memristor can store information without needing power, unlike other type of memory devices. Therefore, this technology enables real-time learning directly on computer chips, empowering rapid adaptation to dynamic environments. Furthermore, researchers have developed Stellar, an algorithm and architecture that effectively integrates memory resistor into the chip. As a result, the team has successfully developed the world's first fully integrated memory resistor computing in memory chip that supports efficient on-chip learning. The chip has been tested and shown its capability in various learning tasks such as image classification, speech recognition, and control tasks. It has demonstrated high adaptability, energy efficiency, versatility, and accuracy. In fact, it consumes only three percent of the energy compared to dedicated integrated circuit system using advanced processes when performing the same task. This highlights the exceptional energy efficiency advantages. This technology has the potential to meet high computational power requirements of the AI era and provides a path to overcome the energy efficiency limitations of the traditional computer architecture. China's upcoming Chang'e 6 lunar mission is on track for launch next year. The goal is to land on the far side of the moon and collect samples from the giant Atkin Basin impact crater to further our understanding of the moon's history. The China National Space Administration says the Chuechao 2 relay satellite is also scheduled to launch in early next year. This craft will enable vital communications between Earth and the Moon ladder. Chang'e 6 mission will carry payloads and satellites from four countries: 
They include a French-made instrument to detect the radioactive gas radon, a negative ion detector from the European Space Agency, an Italian laser corner reflector to calibrate radar systems, and Pakistan's CubeSat, a square-shaped miniature satellite. China has an ambitious roadmap for landing astronauts on the moon before 2030. Earlier unmanned mission well laid the groundwork. In 2024, Chang'e 6 will collect samples from the lunar's far side. Chang'e 7 in 2026 will scout resources in the South Pole region. By 2028, Chang'e 8 aims to establish a basic international lunar research station with extensive cooperation opportunities. Notably, China plans to offer more space for foreign equipment on future Chang'e 8 moon mission. Specifically, it will have 200 kg of payload capacity for interested countries, which is unprecedented. This could include fixed instruments, rovers, robots, and more. CNSA also welcomed border mission level cooperation with separate probe interacting in orbit or joint surface exploration. It is exciting to see nations working together as humanity reaches further into the unknown. Once again, Chinese scientists have showcased their dedication in the field of quantum computing. A team of Chinese scientists from the Chinese Academy of Science have developed a cutting-edge quantum computing prototype, Jiu Zhang-3 with 255 photons. This achievement has not only set a new world record in the field of atomic quantum information technology, but also demonstrated the remarkable capabilities of quantum computing. The processing speed of Jiu Zhang 3 for Gaussian boson sampling has skyrocketed by an astonishing 1 million times compared to its previous iteration, Jiu Zhang 2. To put this tremendous leap into perspective, the highest complexity sample handled by Jiu Zhang 3 within a mere 1 millionth of a second would take the current fastest supercomputer frontier 20 billion years to complete. So what exactly is quantum computing and why is it such a big deal? To put it simply, conventional computers like the one we use on a daily basis process information using bits that represent either a null or a one. However, in the world of quantum computing, information is stored and processed using quantum bits or qubits. Unlike regular bits, qubits can exist in multiple states simultaneously thanks to a phenomenon called superposition. This unique characteristic allows quantum computers to handle vast amounts of data and perform complex calculations much more efficiently than classical computers. The Jiu Zhang 3 prototype utilized the power of photons, which are particles of light, to carry out quantum computations. By manipulating these photons and their interactions, the scientists have achieved remarkable results. To better understand the significance of this breakthrough, let's imagine you have a large pile of puzzle pieces, and your task is to find the pieces that fit together to form a complete picture. Solving this puzzle using a classical computer would involve trying each combination one by one, which could take an extremely long time. However, quantum computer like Jiu Zhang 3 can explore multiple combinations simultaneously and can therefore significantly speed up the puzzle solving process. In addition, the Jiu Zhang 3 prototype also represents a significant advancement in the field of quantum information technology. The researchers have developed methods to detect and manipulate photons with high positions, enhancing the overall performance of the quantum computing system. Quantum computers have the potential to revolutionize industries such as cure, discovery, optimization problems, and cryptography, among others, by providing solutions that were previously unattainable due to the limitations of classical computers. A new study has found that a traditional Chinese herbal formula Da Dian Zhong decoction can improve cognitive function and prevent neural losses in a mouse model of aging. Da Dian Zhong decoction is a traditional Chinese medicine that has been used for centuries to treat various digestive disorders such as constipation, diarrhea, abdominal pain, bloating, nausea, and vomiting. Now, a modern research has also shown that Da Dian Zhong has anti-inflammatory, antioxidant, and a neuroprotective effect, 
and that, as we have mentioned, can improve cognitive function and prevent neural losses in aging mice. In this study from Chengdu University, researchers revealed Da Jianzhong triggers mitophagy to achieve these benefits. Mitophagy is a quality control process that removes dysfunctional mitochondria. Mitochondria are our cells' power plants, fueling various cellular functions. However, they can churn out reactive oxygen species, ROS, leading to oxidative stress and cell damage. That's where mitophagy comes in. This quality control mechanism gets rid of dysfunctional mitochondria, helping to maintain a healthy balance in our cells. If mitophagy goes awry, it's been linked to aging and neurodegenerative disease like Alzheimer and Parkinson's. In their study, researchers used a mouse model of aging to investigate the effect of Da Jianzhong on cognitive decline. They treated mice with Da Jianzhong for 35 days and assessed the cognitive performance using behavioral tests. The results show that Da Jianzhong improved learning, memory, and reduced anxiety-like behaviors. It also protected neurons in the hippocampus, a brain region crucial for memory. Da Jianzhong activated the pink one park in mitochondria autophagy pathway and enhanced the mitochondrial function. The study concluded that Da Jianzhong rejuvenates cognitive function by activating mitophagy. The research emphasized the need for future investigation to delve deeper into the intricate mechanism involved and determine the optimal dosage of Da Jianzhong to enhance mitophagy. But we can see that Da Jianzhong is a classic example of how ancient wisdom can be applied to modern health problems. And that is all for today's Threshold. We hope you like this new section on science technology in China. As usual, we welcome your thoughts and feedback.